If you've been watching my channel for long, you'll know I love bags and organization. I recently talked about my camera bag setup, but I wanted to cover my iPad bag setup. That's what I use when I don't need my camera. When I was figuring out what kind of setup I would need for working anywhere, I knew my camera bag would have everything I could possibly ever need in it. But I wanted a lightweight bag that had just the necessities in it, something that I could just grab and run out the door with. I looked at both backpacks and messenger bags, but I knew I wanted something that fit just right. This is where the Outback Solo Case from Waterfield Designs comes in. A quick disclosure, they have sent me bags in the past to review, but I bought this bag with my own money. What attracted me to this bag is it's custom made for the device. In my case, that is a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. And when I say it's custom made, I do mean it. The device fits perfectly in here. No sliding around, no extra loose material. This is the perfect bag for those people that have found the device that they love and want to carry it with them every single day. And of course it fits a lot of other devices as well. Just pick what device you want to use with it while ordering. I keep coming back to Waterfield Design bags because I love the way they look and their build quality is second to none. I want a bag that will last me years. The Outback Solo Case is a messenger style bag, meaning it has a strap you throw over your shoulders and you can run out the door with. Most messenger bags can be really bad for your back, but this setup is so light it's completely fine for me and I'm somebody that does have a bad back. You can even remove the strap and turn it into a sleeve if you want. I love the look of this bag. It looks like something Indiana Jones would carry. Waterfield Designs does such a great job designing their bags. In the main compartment of the bag is my iPad Pro. Like I mentioned, this bag is designed for whatever device you pick when ordering. It fits perfectly inside. They also take into consideration the smart keyboard and the Apple Pencil, so those fit as well. For those that are new here, I love my iPad Pro and I've made it my main computer for the last three years. I edit all my videos, photos, and even my podcast on it. This bag setup revolves around the idea that I wanna be able to take my iPad and work anywhere with it. The newest addition to my bag is the AirPods Pro. I'm completely in love with these. I no longer feel like I have to be in a quiet, distraction-free workspace. I can put these in, turn on noise canceling, and use a playlist or a noise app to drown out what's going on around me. Of course, they also work great with music and podcasts as well. What I like about these over other headphones that do noise canceling is that they take up so little space in my bag and weigh next to nothing. My goal with this bag again is to have just the necessities and headphones are a must for me. But if I had big over the ear headphones, that would mean I'd need a much bigger bag. Since iPad OS added mouse support, I've been using that a lot. My go-to travel mouse is the Logitech MX Anywhere 2 mouse. This mouse has a slim profile, great battery, and a handful of customizable buttons. Perfect for being on the go with my iPad. One thing that's an absolute must carry with me is my medication. I found these awesome travel size containers on Amazon. They have three separate compartments and can hold everything I need. I may work completely off my iPad, but everyone still needs a pen. I personally really like the Retro 51 Tornado pen. It's small, it looks nice, and I like the way it feels in my hand. Charging is a must for any portable computer setup. I wanted one power brick to rule them all. In my camera backpack, I have the Anchor PowerPort Atom. This is a 60 watt dual USB-C charger. I knew that I didn't need that much power for the setup and those are a bit pricey. Instead, I got the Anchor PowerPort 3 Duo. This is a dual USB-C port charger that does 18 watts per port. More than enough to charge my iPad and my iPhone at the same time. Of course, you'll need cables to go along with that. If you watch my camera bag, you'll know I have an interesting way of figuring out what cable is what. The black cable is USB-C and the white cable is lightning to USB-C. This way I don't have to take out a cable and look at each end to figure out which is which. I know just by the color. I know it seems like a small thing, but it's a really nice quality of life improvement. On the Outback Solo, there is a back pocket. This would be great for keeping a notebook or something like that in it. I don't really use it for anything right now, but it's nice that it's there. I can stuff papers or whatever small item in there if need be. Overall, I'm really happy with the setup. It's not over the top like a lot of my previous setups are, but it's enough to get the job done. Everything but my iPad Pro and AirPods Pro permanently live in this bag. At any moment, I can just add those two items in it and then run out the door. This is perfect for somebody that likes to be out and about, but also needs to get their work done. I'll leave links to everything I mentioned in the description below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.